Hey everyone, George from Moving Maths here and welcome to your online Maths on the Move Active Maths quiz. Now, today's quiz will have 10 questions for you to answer and for each question I will read the question out and then the answers will appear on the screen and all you have to do is select the answer and then perform the movement that matches the answer you selected. You have to try and do this before the end of the question and that way you will score your point. You ready to go? Let's get going. Okay guys, let's get started with question one. The question says, what is the difference between 676 and 646? So what's the difference between 676 and 646? I'll give you a few seconds, just have a think. Okay, so if you think the answer is A, 10, you should do star jumps. And if you think the answer is B, 20, you should do jab punches. And if you think the answer is C, you should, uh, 30, you should do pendulum legs. Okay, good job. So if you said uh, if you're doing pendulum legs, you got it right. The answer was C, 30. So if you if that's the activity you were doing, you got a point for that round. Good job. So on to question two. How many seconds are there in four minutes? How many seconds are there in four minutes? I'll give you a few seconds to think. Okay. So if you think the answer is A, 140. Uh, you should do windmills. If you think the answer is B, 180, you should run on the spot. And if you think the answer is C, 240, you should do donkey kicks. So get going with whichever of those uh, you think is right now. Okay, good job guys. The answer was C, 240. So those of you doing donkey kicks, well done. You got yourself a point. Okay, question three. What is 80 take away 16? 80 take away 16. Have a little think for a few seconds. Okay, so answer A is 56. So if you think that's the answer, you should do star jumps. If you think it's B, 60. You should do burpees, and if you think it's C, 64, you should do high knees. So get going now. Okay, so the answer was C, 64. And if you're doing high knees, you've got a point for that question. Brilliant job, guys. Well done. On to question four. A football costs £8.25 and you paid with a £10 note. How much change did you get? So the football costs £8.25 and you paid with £10. How much change did you get? Have a think for a few seconds. Okay. So answer A is £2.75, and if you think that's the right answer, you should bounce on the spot. Answer B is £1.75, and if you think that's correct, you should do the balance. And answer C is £3.75, and if you think that's the right answer, you should do the spotty dogs. Okay, so the answer was B, £1.75. So if you were balancing, good job, there's a point for that round. On to question five. This one's a sequences question, so listen to the numbers in the sequence carefully. Find the next number in this sequence. 9, 12, 15, 18 and 21. 
So what is the number that comes after 21 in that sequence? Have a think for a few seconds. Okay, so if you think the answer was A, 24, uh, you should do the butterflies. If you think the answer was B, 22, you should do the backflicks. And if you think the answer was C, 25, you should do the balance. So get going with that now. Okay, answer time. The answer was A, 24. So if you're doing the butterfly, well done. You got an answer, you got a point for that uh, for that question, sorry. Good job. On to question six. Solve this missing number problem. So listen carefully to the numbers. 11 plus something equals 40. 11 plus something equals 40. So what do we need to add to 11 to get 40? Have a think for a few seconds. Okay, answer A is 25 pendulum legs. So if you think that's the right answer, do those pendulum legs. Answer B is 27. And if you think that's right, bend and shoot. Answer C is 29. And if you think that's correct, do the balance. Okay, so the answer was C, 29. So if you were balancing, good job, you got a point for that question. On to question seven. The question says, what is seven multiplied by seven? Seven multiplied by seven. Have a think for a few seconds before we reveal the answer, the possible answers. Okay, so the answer A is 49. So if you think that's the right answer, uh, you should do star jumps. Answer B is 59, if you think that's correct, you should do jab punches. And answer C is 69, and if you think that's correct, you should do pendulum legs. So get going with those now, whichever you think is right. Okay, so the answer was A, 49. So if you were doing star jumps, brilliant job. There's a point for you. On to question eight. Peter started running at 10 past nine and finished at 9.45. How many minutes was he running for? How many minutes was Peter running for if he started at 10 past nine and finished at 9.45? So have a think. Okay. Answer A is 55 minutes, and if you think that's correct, you should do windmills. Answer B is 45 minutes, and if you think that's correct, you should run on the spot. And answer C is 35 minutes, and if you think that's correct, you should do donkey kicks. The answer was C, 35 minutes. So if you um, were doing donkey kicks, brilliant job. You got a point for that question. Okay, on to question nine, nearly at the end now. What is 36 divided by four? 36 divided by four. Have a think for a second. Okay, answer A is eight. And if you think that's right, do star jumps. Answer B is nine, and if you think that's correct, do burpees. And answer C is 10, and if you think that's correct, do those high knees. So get going with those now.
Okay, time to reveal the answer. The answer was answer B, nine. So if you're doing burpees, brilliant job. Point for you for this question. Okay, last question, question 10. How many grams are there in 7.5 kilograms? So how many grams are there in 7.5 kilograms? Have a think. Okay, so answer A is 75 grams. And if you think that's correct, you should bounce on the spot. If you think answer B is correct, 750 grams, you should balance. And if you think it's answer C, 7,500 grams, you should do spotty dogs. So get going now. Okay, fantastic. Uh, the answer was 7,500, answer C. So if you're doing spotty dogs, you got a point for that round. So guys, we finished the quiz uh, and I hope everyone enjoyed it and I hope and thank you to everyone that took part today. Um, I, th I hope you enjoy being active with your maths as well. Uh, now, if you kept a record of your score uh, from the 10 questions that we did, I want you to try and beat your score in the next maths quiz. And if you got 10 out of 10, I want you to aim for 10 out of 10 again. Okay, so good job and I look forward to seeing you again on the next quiz. The world around us is changing. You're faced with the new challenge of homeschooling your children. For some, this is a worrying prospect, and for those who are expected to work from home, it's a near impossible task. We worry that our children will fall behind, especially in the core subject areas of English and Maths. Adding variety to your daily routine, whilst keeping your children motivated to learn and remembering to stay active, can be really difficult. The Mighty Maths home learning platform has been developed to help you right now. It keeps your children motivated, boosts confidence and improves attainment in the fundamentals of maths through fun and frequent practice. Using the concept of active learning, Mighty Maths combines fun, on-demand videos to keep your children active with short sets of varied maths arithmetic challenges. Written by teachers and used by primary schools nationwide, Mighty Maths has been developed in line with the national curriculum, so you can rest assured that the questions your children are tackling are appropriate for their age. And using it is really straightforward. There's no need for any printing. Simply select your video, work out with Tom, and then tackle the maths questions, all on any device. The answers are waiting to be revealed, meaning your children can evaluate their progress straight away. We want to help as many households as possible during this period, so we've reduced the price from £60 to just £5 until the 22nd of May. This gives you access to a library of workout videos and maths challenges for your child to tackle. And to keep things fresh, content is updated every 20 days. And like you, we want to support our NHS heroes however we can, which is why £1 of every Mighty Maths purchase will be donated to the NHS. To start using Mighty Maths in your daily homeschool routine, sign up today.